Da, da, dee, da, 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 da. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Hi, Wendy. Marilyn Jean, come back. No, Jean, Marilyn, yes, sir. Uh, I want to give you some description, maybe what you tell the usual, maybe just refreshing what you already know. How to prepare yourself for a particular movement. How you visualize the flow forward within your body and a particular organization of, of deciding to go back or forward or side to change direction. Mm -hmm. And then after, yes, you're here with me? Yes. After we'll, you will see it on me and we'll go with you a few times. Then you will partner one another and the idea will be like this. The leader would have to do a particular preparation without doing the step. So the follower can read what needed to be done. Would I be preparing myself for a forward walk? Would I be preparing myself for the back step? Would I be preparing myself for a side step? Would I be preparing myself for the twist one or another way? Yes. Yes. So let's just get back a little bit to this uh, picture we was using yesterday. So I'll be more oh, off oh, yesterday or the other day. Um, okay. Okay, guys, give me a second. I'll just show the in the studio and then I'll show it to you. Let's just quickly look at some of We always starting with pressure for when I start, when I start the way you start the movement, you're saying I'm starting from pressure to the toe, pressure to the floor. Then through the response, like whatever pressure I'm giving, I'm receiving the floor back to my sitting bone, and then I want to feel how this increased pressure comes to my gravity center right here. So I I feel that I'm energized. And I, I have like a response from the group. Then we fill it up. So this is all like the bottom of our leaves. So we will have that one. So this is where you continue to bring this uh, energy flowing up through. And this is where it's still your new vertical. So then we go in like front. Then we go into this area. In our ribs, where we can divert the center. So once we go it up and up, kind of to our background level, this is where I can choose to give it a particular projection. Will be for the some twisting one way, will be twisting another way, or um, will be setting it, let's say, one compressing another one from the way forward. Or the other way the same, or uh, so we generally remember this. The chest it is the final projection I'm not working, and I can send it further through the chest when I'm going forward. Yeah, when we will be going to the back, we will be thinking about this force of inside of the So, forward and in, in our same leg on the chest. We will be projecting for it. So the person is okay, this is what I'm doing for. For the for the back, we'll just give this back direction a little advantage. So 
So when we we'll prepare our finishing up to the center, we will be just in the mix. Still, still, still forward. But just but the initiation in my standing leg uh, backward is a little bit more aggressively dominating the forward projection. Okay, so this is where we'll be starting to feel the decision to go backwards. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and sorry, I'm now with you and just will go quickly through the same images. My preparation starting from the pressure to the floor. This is the first thing I'm doing for any, any movement I'm planning to do. Then I feel the respond through side of my thigh to the sitting bone. And then from the, and then from the sitting bone, it go to my center of gravity, and then I bring it up to my, let's say, not not the legs, but to my diaphragm. So until the blue spot, your preparation is purely vertical. And then when we get to this idea of the ribs, sorry, it's right here. This is where you can think of some diversion, planning it sideways, forward, back, adjusting the pure vertical flow into some uh, lateral aspects, forward, sideways, or back. Mm -hmm. When we will be going forward, so this is just a little bigger place, so you think from the gravity center up to the top of your psoas to your diaphragm. And this is just one more drawing where you think, okay, if I'm preparing for the forward step, my center and my chest, uh, after being charged here, I'm giving uh, the priority or giving advantage to the frontal projection. This is how I get to my forward step. If I'm planning to go back, I'm still, like we were saying, pressing to my leg, charging from the leg to the sitting bone to the gravity center. And then after I'm bringing it up, I give this direction back a little advantage, Whoa. so then I can be still strongly picked up from the floor, but choosing to, but choosing to go backwards. Yeah, this forces is always present. It's never that I, I'm deciding to go back and I'm just falling there. The idea of giving yourself a charge and a sense of uh, energy inside is still there. It's just how then you decide to operate with it and use it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a little tricky. When you would like to prepare yourself, we indicate to your partner that it's a side step. You would try to start with the same idea that the movement along your foot uh, is much easier to be organized back or forward. So how on the standing leg, the one is the one you standing, standing here, your idea of shifting your weight would still be more backwards. And when you go in backward, this is where your idea of a side movement will operate. So it still will be in your foot, deeper to the center and to the back. And then it's not, I'm just pushing sideways and disconnecting from here. It's your standing leg after being picked up can steer and your idea to push your body sideways originating here. So when you will be trying to show to your partner that it's a side movement, you'll be doing all the same thing, but in your standing leg, you will be just a little more addressed around. And this is how the energy then will go more to your brain. So this is a receiver. Yeah, don't think that this is something which you will just uh, project out and that's why the step will go there. When I will be going to my, uh, your right, my left, the preparation is the same. And then when I going back, my standing leg ready to send this message sideways. Mm -hmm. Let's just try a few a few simple steps. We ready to go forward. So once we're starting here, press into the floor, uh, digging for the sitting on to your baby, bring it up to the diaphragm. And now in your ribs, 
choosing to divert it into this little spiral thing and push from the leg to fulfill this. New leg, new sense of pressure, new charge after the diaphragm, and now changing it on top in your in your ribs. Oops, to go to the next step. Pressure eating, very sense of diaphragm, oh, in your ribs diverting and rolling. And down. Yeah. I am going backwards, starting a leg in front. Pressure, gravity center, diaphragm, and now when you do the same, look, same diversion in your ribs, you just working stronger from your ankle to your to your leg to move back. Taking pressure, center, diaphragm, same diversion is still the same change in your ribs. But now you're just working stronger back uh, from your floor to the to the evolve. Picking up that round, that version, and going back. Picking up that changing the shape of your ribs, going back. Yeah, again, if I'll be a little closer here to the screen. Pressure, center, begin higher, and then I'm doing same change, it's not different. It's not that I will be doing things in reverse. Same idea of using my rib to increase the weight a little bit more. And now shape is suiting the usage of the stand leg. Just now I'm more active when pushing back into, into pushing back, that's it. Here, pressing to the center, to the diaphragm. Do a little change in your ribs, and that's allow you to go more active from your foot to the back. So still charging yourself. Let's plan a, a side step. Uh, let's say the forward leg, we'll go to the thing on the left, we'll go to the right. You change your weight, so let's say, start on the right, then we'll be changing your weight. Feel that through the pressure, picking energy up to your center, to your diaphragm. Now, now as you're pushing to the back of your standing leg, that's where you initiate your, let's say, to the ashas. And two, three, belly, diaphragm, chin, and then see if you keep from the back and go inside through, like, Changing direction of the back movement. Back movement, steer it up, go side. And two and three, back in your hip. And this is how the side direction is great. Two, three, very back on back in your hip. And a little three, steering around, chop, chop one. The, just the way of pushing away from the foot differently rather than I go sideways. And when you do, I go sideways, you're losing the uh, attachment to the source. Mm -hmm. And one or two more elements we will be doing. Uh, if we're staying with you over the left, left, over the left, I will be here facing you. Uh, and uh, you will need to turn to the left. So you will be doing the same pressure from the leg, sitting bone, gravity center, same flow. I'm increasing pressure, I'm getting more energy to be used. I'm bringing it up to my diaphragm. And this is why deciding to change the position because I'm planning that my next thing would be a, a, a cross step or a swivel or anything else. So when we will be dancing with like partnering one another, it would be all of this and this, and then your partner will execute. Ta-da, let's say a squat turn. Mm -hmm. Or you will be staying on your left leg and you will be pressing and doing the same. The flow into your center, into your diaphragm, then you will be doing a reverse movement 
So that's where your fund, let's say, will be going to a, a hand to hand kind of thing. Uh, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Whether the same on your other leg, on your right. Pressing, increasing the pressure, increasing the weight, feeling that through the side of the leg, like in a spiral fashion, it comes to a seating bone, to a gravity center, up to your diaphragm. And then from here, when this already established, when you energize and you allow the music to, to flow through you, you're creating a decision to change direction. And this is where your partner will go, spot turn, three, four. Or if we're staying same leg, same pass pressure, hip, belly, diaphragm, reverse direction. Oh, then it will be a, a, a back replace. Let's simply call it a back replace. Yeah? So let's do a few times. We'll be going back forward, a few bucarachas, and then a few spot turns, and then a few back replaces. It will cover all four types of preparation. Forward preparation, back, left or right, and twists. Right turn and, and right turn. Yeah? Let's do it. Reciting on the left leg, pressing to the floor, picking a bit in the belly, and in your ribs, changing it, projecting forward, walk, 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 arriving, increasing the weight, picking up in your center, bring it up to your diaphragm, and now in your ribs, diverting it to move forward, forward, and up, close this. Here, low pressure, deep in your center, bring it to your diaphragm, and this is where you change, create some diversion in your ribs, and now using the pressure control to send your steps backward, pressure goes to the belly, to the lower stomach, goes to your diaphragm, and then in your ribs, diverting it, and using the pressure from the floor. Good. Go into Kukaraj. Same thing, low pressure, low belly, diaphragm. And then, then take it to the back. And then, like you, like you, uh, scratch, like you're cleaning inside the shoe. So if I'll take a shoe, I'll just. Oops. Uh, so saying that you going like like that, so the weight goes in, turn the ta, 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 and then you shift sideways. Yeah, and this is where you will move side. Yes, like that. Don't just think here, yeah, move side. But you move back, 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 and this is where the side movement starts. Yes? Ready for the garage, you arrive. Low pressure, ready, diaphragm, and back, and around. Start closing, changing, low pressure, low stomach, diaphragm, keep going back. And this is where you, with your ribs and shoulder blade, helping to divert this back movement into the side movement. And a few more times. Picking, baby diaphragm, around two and three. Now, baby diaphragm, he goes back, and then you're deciding to choose your chair. Now, here, let's start with a, with a squat turn. So you'll be picking up. Same as to the diaphragm, and then this is where you will be. Let's make it more convenient. It will be convenient to go into the back replace. So, picking it up to the diaphragm, creating diversion, and back replace side step. Pressure, steady, diaphragm, diversion. Up. Then you follow into the open space. A few more times here. Baby diaphragm, change in your ribs and then a little for the twist. 
internal. Now, ready, diaphragm, changing your ribs, frame around, push, back, and here the opportunity to practice the opposite. Yes, when you're riding and you're finding, let, let's go this a few times, stepping forward or way right, feeling the pressure to the floor, and as soon as you have it, you have a reverse flow from the floor to the floor, increasing pressure, having more energy to be used. And once you bring it to your diaphragm, whoop, this is where you can do your preparation and then do the reverse flow. Diaphragm, rotation, leg, placing the foot, take a moment to build it up to the low belly, to the diaphragm. Yes, 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 so much there. All right. What? Yes, very good, very good. When you go to the new place, don't forget the importance of preserving it. So the reference of like that, importance of staying connected to the leg is not yet to, is not disappearing yet. So you're using it, and then when you change your action, it's still important, it's still working for you. When you step, it's still working. So this whole arrangement inside it is to be kept. So this pressure still have a way to pass through your body because you did good, 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 and then you did the turn, and then you disassemble your parts. They need to stay assembled. Yeah. So a few more times: forward walk, back walk. Uh, four cockroaches and then uh, back replace, back replace, and then we're going to spot turn. Uh, last one, uh, last step is closing. The last, second four is closing. Uh, pressure the floor, sitting on, low belly diaphragm, reach the third thing, this way it's an upper work, walk, walk, walk. Low pressure, baby diaphragm. I'm going forward. Walk, walk, close. The same path. And you do your diversion, but you just a little more active in this back direction from the foot to the sitting bone. Ah, so you tell me, I'm going back. Two and three and four. Pressure, four, baby diaphragm, changing the shape, active. Back direction of the leg, tell your partner, I'm going back. Three, four, same path, and just a little back. And then when you go back, you go around. This is how you indicate to your partner that it will be a side step. Taking, going back with it, and after reaching into the back of your shoe, you feel that the place where. My decision to go sideways is one time, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, in and, and around the back, and throw the hip. And now we'll go into the same thing, but change your shape. And this way you tell your partner back, replace after the pivot, and here you can check the other aspect of the yeah, inward turn and preparing. Baby diaphragm, ribs, frame, uh -huh. and it is. When you're moving it, try to think that you're like inserting your arms into a pipe. So now the, you need to move. It's a one pipe, it's not two separate pipes. It's one pipe, whoops, so when you're moving it, you move one whole pipe, and then whoop, turn your feet inside. Yes, two, three, again. Think of inserting your arm into the pipe after reaching to the low belly diaphragm. Whoop, then use some diversion your ribs to whoop, go around whoop, and then turn inside. And after you do this, we'll be preparing. You guys know you know. We'll be preparing to. The center and to the right to go to squat turn. Two and three and four. Center, low center, and then other three. So let's uh, 
who want to shoot partner. Okay, let's let's do with you. What where are we moving this whole thing? What what's the goal? Uh, and ladies, you might just we'll be dancing a little closer to the camera or we'll find the, the angle, uh, maybe slightly diagonal. So uh, as you need to do what I'm preparing for. Yeah? Okay. So let's see. Of course, you wouldn't see too many details, but I'll try. And there will be no, it's on the same order because then there will be no point. Okay. Yeah? What I prepared myself for, what do you, what do you think I prepared myself for? Yes, so this was the, the way for you. So I am preparing myself. You need to do what you think I'm playing to. Oh, okay. So you will not do it. I will not do it. Okay. That, that's the point of the game. Yes. So now if I'm preparing myself, you rushed a little bit. Uh, maybe I was not clear. You see, this is where. I cannot just blame Vess for not being uh, attentive. I can blame myself for not being clear enough. So I'll try one more time. You you take time. You don't necessarily have to copy my preparation. You observe it. Then when you observe it, you go and like finish where I started. Yeah, so don't rush. Take your time to see me as I do it. Yes, three steps back. Yes, very, very good. good. Very nice. So you noticed that there was a back preparation. Yeah. Now if I'm, I'm doing, again, look at that to the end of it. From, from one of the elements we already discussed today. So I'm not just giving you endless opportunities. One of the the right answer would be yeah, it would be back, it would be more linear, it would be like a side, it would be different. But if you see that I did this, then it's that thing, yes. And if you see that I'm doing uh, I would be on this leg, it might be pretty obvious, but still, uh, no, don't, don't do what I'm doing. You need to absorb, and I need to be clear in walking the path of preparation. Yes. Okay. So this will be our exercise. You, we choose the leaders who is doing the preparation. And we choose a followers who is just trying to read, try to notice this. And then you take your time. Once you understand, go the same path as your partner did and uh, produce the outcome. Yes? Okay. 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 So um, let's say, Joseph, you will be with Vivian. Maybe so you would be with Marco. Uh, Camille and Jennifer, you start together with each other, and Wes, uh, well, yes, yes, one from Melissa, yeah, yeah, oh, yes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, we, we're missing one partner here, yes, um, let's, let's do like this, let's for this game, it will be me, and all of you trying to guess what I'm doing. And and Vess, you will be too. Yeah, so you will be observing me and give it a try. There is no right or wrong, and please feel free to talk. It's not like uh, like in a in a long time, long time marriage. Oh, you're yeah. doing this. Oh, you never listen to me. Oh, you always say you know this is it, it, it's a honeymoon period, so. Oh, I was guessing you did that because I noticed that. Oh, I was saying that I'm showing that because I was I was like doing that. So try to be communicative because you all heard the same words, but you all might hear them a little different. And you might 
all things that you do in them the same way I do, but they might come out differently. So you might say to one of the four, like, did you notice how I was like steering myself to the side? Or did you notice how I was trying to pull the deeper back? Or did you notice how I was projecting or so, something like this? Did you see the reaction is not matching? And in the one that's doing exactly what he was planning, I know, show some up and then just you need one, some up, good. If not, then come back to the position, try to. Don't repeat, don't repeat, just try to do different. Let's say out of this four, uh, left, right, four, back, in and turn out, out of six. So you, you want to have more than three, yeah? More than three right showing, more than three right guesses. Yeah, so what you want is just that producing the correct action. Yeah? Woof! I was, let me see if I have something. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Ready. That's it. Exercise begin. There is no time guidance. Okay. Sorry. Did I say who is either? So okay. Joseph, Joseph, Melissa, and Camilla. You are the one. Sorry, I never did the wrong. So you're the one in this round, is you are the one a leading means you are the one marking what you want to do, but not actually doing it. Make clear for your partner what, what was your intention. Ladies, now I'm the leader, you all followers. Yeah, and then we'll try to maybe partner Jean with this, and then Wendy's well, no, whatever way. Ready. Okay, yes, okay, I'll, I'll do it again, facing you. Yes, sideways was the right time. Yes, good. Um, and now I'm on the... Right leg here. Yeah, uh, maybe I was just showing that I'm on on, a, on my left. So it, you did recognize the turn, but it was on the right leg. So you also might notice the detail of, okay, I don't know how big or small your screen is. Here and there. No, no, are you staying on the right? Are you staying on your left, on your left, on your left? This on the, I'm staying on the left and then I do this, it's a, a reverse move, yeah? Yes, so I'll now turn sideways so we already have just two options to choose from. <laughs> um. Yes. <laughs> Or correct, correct. Um, sideways is not like we need a so side will be so it's back, and if it will be back, it will be go like that, but if it's a side. We'll see that I'm back and then steering to go sideways. I, I know this one is maybe a little trickier to notice. So pressing, going back, and then diverting to go sideways. Yes. Mm -hmm. A few more. Good, good, and um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, 
exactly. Good. Um, how it's working? music here in the room and I'll try to do my best to feed my preparation into the movement and then you will have the following beats to nah, give me a second okay. so I will be doing in my preparation during two three four one I'll take just a little more time to make it clear on two you need to execute yeah, so let's say I'm doing my preparation for something and I go two and three and four and you're ready to go two, three, four. Or I'm going two and three and four and one. You're ready to go four, three and four. Or I'm going to say ready for two and three and four. You're ready to go into Kukaracha. Yeah? That will be our game. Ah, we never change roles. Yes, did you play a little bit like a forward? Yes. yes, you both try to lead another one. Yeah, did you try to, to change roles a little bit? Yes, okay. Uh, sorry, guys, okay, with the screen, I, I, I guide you through, but he was on your own. So, a little feedback what was easy to notice, or what was hard to notice, or what was easy to produce, and hard to produce. Right. Okay, good. Yes, uh, our brain is a part of the body which decides the direction, which chooses the direction. So, the moment when we fed our body with the pressure, with the slow, then Changing on a particular way. So, when I will be going sideways, there has to be no change in my, in my, with that twist in, I, I'm doing it on the base, but anytime I need to turn left or right, it's my brain. Yeah, so again, change direction means the brain need to change position from parallel. Uh, one more let, let me describe the orders. Sorry, I will be here so that um, the question was how to show difference between sidestep and, and the turn. Charging yourself with this pressure, this is first. You feel that it's inside you, it's like a resource. Like you give the resource and you can, you can use it. Preparing that. Direction in your chest is number one. Number two is number one energy. Two your number three is your standing leg following the invitation. And number four is you actually moving in the new direction. So it's like playing, uh, basically in the change and then making movement. Uh, we for the clarity. We try to identify the order of the cell. Of course, on a level of, let's say, my skill, I can do it almost that you don't see the, the cut between them. But in many occasions, I would like to present a particular rhythmical structure to this. So, changing direction is turning. So, if you're turning, let's say, right leg, right direction. Outward turn, right leg, left direction, inward turn. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. That's one. Any comments? Any questions? Was it clear? Everything he was doing? Because he was just blinking. No, he was keep doing the step. Yes. 
Yes, it is. You understand that, that yeah, you only need to. <laughs> yeah, not doing really the steps at all. So, Michael, what was so possible about the reason? The only, there was only one, I felt like she was pretty clear, except the only part was just, I would say, in like the splicing of her ribs. Uh -huh. She had like separation, but like this wasn't clear enough. So, the side of 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 Maybe go a little bit more precise into having the origin. So now I will advocate for your the origin of the stain, like for this side to be responsive, but not to be like placed in separation from where you're starting. So the whole point, let's say, we'll be doing it together. Let's say something which we Simplify the law, did this. Can we feel that we need to keep this part like tight and this energy will be received in your ear? So it will be tiny, but can also that the push will come from here. That you can, you might do it at some point. But what we know today is that it's originating in the no, 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 just I'm correcting it still. Yes. <laughs> okay, music. We'll do it with music. How do we do it with music? The one who is leading the whole counts to do what the team had done. Like let's finish it by two, three, four, so that you want to have, oh, okay, this is what I need to do. On, on the following two, you need to make this sound. Nikolai. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll do the we'll do the same. I'll dance with you. And and then Just a 
little bit harder because of the quality of the screens, but if we'll, we'll still try, Wendy, Marilyn, Jean, and Wes, Wes, you are here, and Jean will be leading, Jean will be leading, and Marilyn would be leading. Wes, you will be responding to Jean preparation. When she's doing something, you guess what is it, and then you, and same Wendy. Wendy, if you can make a gallery view, and you look at Marilyn, yeah? And then Marilyn would be doing a, a particular preparation for the forward step, or for the back step, or for the twist, and you'll try to execute what you think your plan was, yes? So Marilyn, you are the guide, Wendy, you are the follower, Jean, you are the guide, that's your the follower. Now, just change the rules where we're sitting. You come forward, and I'll take you to look at it with it. I'll go to Oh, 
no puede ser igual. Sí, sí, no la quiero recitar. Sí, sí, no lo es que no la quiero Yeah. Um, let's just change partners. So now, ooh, okay, Melanie was leading and Wendy, you was leading too? No, Wendy was following. So let's say now, Wendy, you... Okay, keep the same couples, just change the roles. Now we need to show Jane. And Wendy, you need to show Marilyn. Yes, Wendy leading, Marilyn following. To, to basically just applying it for the clarity of our own movement. We'll do the combination, forward walks, back walks, cucarachas, but you want to be very committed to use your time on for one to walk the path of preparation, walk the path of pressing to the floor, bring it up and then using it for the back step, using it for the side step. So finally, I don't know if, if, if you have this feeling after the exercise, can I actually follow my own direction? Like, can I produce the movement I was planning so well and now somebody else have to execute it? I want to be my own performer. So now, your beautiful preparation, you can, like, are you doing it not so good as I want to do it, yes? So now you can do it for yourself. And let's, I play the same music and uh, like, don't exactly look at me. I try to listen and, and um, be a specific guide for yourself. That, that's what I want to say. If you'll be your own audience, you will know exactly what's coming. What we done before? Four, 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 Bajo el mundo 
center first making you look like the music feels you and then uh, you deciding to do something with it rather than go into the final first you want to first reach yourself with a sense of flow and then divert it yeah so take a little example like this a later decision to get to the Four or the side or whatever is new direction, and a little more time on, on savoring it inside. Students, uh, can you play one more time the song? And um, can you hear the song well? Okay, good. Oh, 
a los ojos. Ahorita se va a anochecer. No es la razón para la que perdí. Okay. Um, overall, very nice. Jean, on the fourth walks, a much better look because somehow you're a little more tight in your hips. On a side movement, you're allowing this um, pendulum thing to, to just go like way too deep and the moment when you need to take this. This is not exactly finding the, the meeting point like on top it's stealing from you rather than giving you on the fourth look limited on the side look like you spread it and then here to not enough not enough attention to floor and this pass to the center floor and the path to the center but it's always need to like a little stitches always need to get through the through the center um wendy it seems like this uh, approach, today's approach, help you with the flow. So the moment look more continuous and connected, that, that there is always some thing to, to plan, to, to process before the step. Uh, that's good. The bed is up a little, sometime a little lack of sense of balance in the sense of, let's say, if I'm lifting this leg forward, my my sense of balance should tell me twist that way, not twist that way. Of course, I can still balance, but the logic would be all like, if I go with like sideways, if my hip go one way, the logic should tell you where the arm should be. And sometimes they go in a, in a Hawaiian style. Yeah? Marilyn. You're right as usual. <laughs> uh, just you need a you need a, a little whip and a little cookie, yeah. So you you get both. And uh, Marilyn, I think that it's super cool that you're finding inner connections. That I see that you're connected inside, and this is a starting point for maybe a bigger expression later but without recognizing it, all your prior big expressions was always questionable. Okay, I have like a huge hip line, but I'm questioning how healthy it is, how functional you're there. Is there a sense of like a, a music, a sense of pressure and recovery? And now maybe you have a little less of a curves presented, but the sense of musicality in your body is, is on a different level. So, Congrats on, on today's achievement. Yeah, very good. Thank you very much for being with me. And I hope it was some extra knowledge into your pocket, into your future dancing, training, learning, or maybe teaching one day, who knows? You decide to quit everything and become a dance teacher in, uh, uh, in India. <laughs> In Bangladesh. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you Tuesday next week. Thursday will be no classes because both me and Jan and Tihan, we are in San Francisco. We are, yes, we, we go to Jean. We'll, if we'll be teaching, we'll be teaching from Jean's house. Oh, yay. I'll see you on Friday. I can't wait. Uh, looking forward to it too. It will be my first trip since uh, since last February, since New York, uh, Brooklyn Dance Festival, from New York Dance Festival. So yes, it is somewhat exciting to be. Well, again. <laughs>